Dear feast team members, many greetings here from Jerusalem. I believe this year's Feast of Tabernacles is going to be a very exciting feast. First of all, we have a very fascinating subject, 50 years of a united Jerusalem. I really believe we can expect God to do great things during the Feast of Tabernacles. But also, I do believe this is going to be a very excited feast, exciting feast because a lot of things are going to change at the feast. And I do believe that this year will be the best Feast of Tabernacles that we had experienced. I'm so glad to tell you that we could win a very good professional man of God to join us to make this year's feast possible. Uh, this is Mr. Dan Castor. Uh, Dan, it's good to have you with us and to have you join our, te our team here. Dan is coming to us with uh, experience for many Christian events but also secular events. Uh, he's working for people like some of you might know him, uh, Jimmy Fallon, the Super Bowl, but also the Assemblies of God Convention and many other great Christian conferences. And I do believe he will be a great addition uh, to the Feast of Tabernacles and help us to reach a new level with the production of the Feast. Dan, why, why don't you just share a few thoughts about this year's Feast of Tabernacles and you joining us here uh, to, with this year's Feast? Absolutely, thank you. Well, last year I was in a capacity of observing and just trying to get a basic overview of the feast after not having attended for numerous years. So I was uh, glad to be invited back and I've said to many of you that I've spoken to so far and had some very good conversations that it's a, it's a privilege and a joy and an honor to really look at and, and imagine what the Feast of Tabernacles biblically Feast of Tabernacles, what it would look like in the 21st century. So that's the challenge, and we're looking forward to seeing what God has in store. Barry, how was it for you to work with Dan over the last few weeks? I think here at ICEJ, we're blessed to have a man of his caliber and his temperament. Um, nothing seems to fluster him or make him anxious. And I know that in the rush of activity surrounding the feast, that calmness will be a strength for all of us. Absolutely. The good news also that I, I do have to you today is that Ray will still be with us. Uh, Ray will be continuing to serve as a music director to rehearse with the team and to meet together with the musicians as they are preparing for the feast. But uh, the general producer of the feast, of course, this year will be Dan Castor. And I do believe we all will have a very exciting time ahead of us. We can expect great and new things. And uh, this will be an amazing feast. And I look forward to all of you to see you in Jerusalem and to welcome you at this year's Feast of Tabernacles here in the City of God. I look forward to seeing you very soon. God bless you.